challenge I I have right now with myself. Um, I'm a shy person. I'm an introvert, so I I had trouble showing my art and explaining it to people. I'm from Republic of Benin. I live in Kotonou and I'm an artist. I'm a painter. I started painting at a really young age in kindergarten, but I, I just finished my master's degrees in human rights law and democracy, and I want to, to continue to have my PhD on school. I reconnected with my heart four years ago when something in me started yearning this way of self-expression. And my inspiration mostly comes from my feelings and emotions. I'm an intuitive painter. That means that most of the time when I want to paint, I don't already know what I'm going to paint. But sometimes I have projects that I work on. I'm also inspired by women, African women precisely. Depictions of women. There is often three types of women. We have the hardworking mother, the queen, and the, the sexy, Afri the sexualized African women. And I, I want to show in my heart the soft and delicate side of African women. These two are from a series of paintings that I call Women and Cory. Because I wanted to express femininity in another kind of way. Cory shells are a symbol of femininity and um, luck and also they also symbolize money but the shape of them is like the woman sexual um, organs and often time as i always as i already said african women are sexualized in art so i wanted to put a sexual thing at part where we don't often think about. I mean, the eyes. We say that the eyes are the windows from the soul. And I think that the, femin the feminine part of women can also be expressed through the way she sees the world or the way she hears or sings. And this one, I just wanted to, to paint a woman in, in her free state, like the, the hair is in the wind and the, there are seven quarries on her hair. And the seven is, the, is a perfect number. So I wanted to express with this one, with this one that women are already perfect in their free state. This one is an abstract painting which represents the, the merge of the masculine and the feminine. The blue color is, is, represents water, and water is the feminine element. And the red represents fire. Fire is the masculine element. So in the middle, the two colors merge to form some, some kind of unity. And the, the color in the background, the yellow, symbolize luck, um, abundance, and riches. 
I think that the biggest challenge I I have right now is myself. Um, I'm a shy person. I'm an introvert, so I I had trouble showing my art and explaining it to people because, as I said, it mostly comes from my self inspiration. So there is some part of myself in my art, and it was like. Talking about it to people, it was like talking about myself too. So actually, um, overcoming this, I started having confidence in talking about my heart, my art, and I want to sh to show it to the world now. So I'm working on that. My advice would be to to any lady like me who has a gift who is shy and introvert, like don't listen to the voices in your head and there is there is always people who will like what you do and don't be afraid to show yourself to the world.